that the, the relationship then develops, where you now so have from there, meetings with the Attorney General. Some have suggested, and indeed it's something I'm, I'm trying to get you to clear. Did you use your relationship with the learned Supreme Court judge, his lordship, Justice Colin D? Did you exploit it to your advantage, knowing very well that this is a family member? Because of the recording and other matters, this came out of it. Not at all. I don't operate that way. In fact, if you know me personally, and you ask all those who know me, I'm the type, I don't patronize people. And I can tell you here, on the next letter, I'm a type who is a non-conformist. And I don't patronize people. I tell you, as, what, the way it is, take it or leave it. Hate me or like me. That is your, that is your opinion, and that's your problem. Mm -hmm. But I live on my principle. So I have enemies, I have detractors, but that's part of life. You can't please everybody. And you can't let them detect the principles in your life and how you should live your life. And that's the way I believe our life is supposed to be. Now, let's get back to the issue. After my cousin intervened with the Attorney General, in fact, the Attorney G so after that, I called my cousin and said, oh, if you could send me the Attorney General's number, I want to thank him. So he sent me, he gave me the number. Then I sent a message to the Attorney General thanking him. So if you look at the message, I thanked him for the kind gesture and all those things. Because you must show appreciation. Mm -hmm. They were playing their game. He got to know that I'm related to Justice Kulendi, who is his friend. And I think they, all, they were all in uh, Nana Akufado's chambers some time back. So they know each other. But still, I have to still show appreciation for that. And that was the but, first time but, but, but he got to know. You, couldn't you have allowed your, your, your cousin, the Supreme Court judge, to do that on your, on your behalf? Oh, no. You see, because this is the same attorney general who is seeking, you to, who is seeking to put you in jail. No, was, it, you know, was this an attempt to create a relationship that could benefit you at, at, the, at the end of the day? Not at all. You see, when you show appreciation to somebody directly from you, the impact is different from a third person showing appreciation on your behalf. Mm. That is why I felt that you should do that. I should show the appreciation myself. And then, so I sent and I showed the appreciation. And then I felt that, look, I have been charged wrongly. And this man, MPP is a new, is a government. He's a new attorney general. He doesn't have hindsight of the history, the antecedents. And that is why he's added me to them. And I'm rather the victim. Occasion by Setepe and Shen Aiti. And you've described them as evils. Why? What, what, I'll, I'll get to that. Yes, so that we don't mix mm -hmm. the whole conversation. So I felt like he needed to get a real picture to understand that an agent, I can't be responsible for the acts of my principal. Mm -hmm. So after showing my appreciation to him, I, I requested that, oh, I wish to require, humbly request for a private meeting with you at a time and venue of your convenience. That's at his discretion. I didn't state where I want to have the meeting, the time. I left that to, his, to him, to his discretion. Then he responded, I will arrange that through your brother. In fact, when Justice Yenu Kulindi spoke to him to intervene in my bail, that is when he got to know that I was related to Justice Kulindi. So he said, I will arrange through Justice Kulindi. So there's a common person that we are all, we all relate to. He is comfortable with Justice Kulendi because they've all, they have their roots from Akufado Chambers. Mm -hmm. He is his personal friend. He goes to his house all the time. Me too, we are blood relation. relation. So we, have, we converge on Justice Kulendi. So in his mind, that is a comfortable ground to have that discussion, to meet me privately. Because he didn't want to meet me maybe in any neutral ground, in any other place. Right. So he opted for Justice Kulendi's place. And not that Justice Kulendi, out of, out of the blue... Arranged the meeting. Arra no, no, so no. So you no. met the AG at the... At, 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 yes. And then so, the intention was to, 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 to tell him you, to, to you, get you off the hook? You hold on. So Justice Kulendi called me that I should come home. The AG said that he is uh, uh, going to have a discussion with me. I requested for him a discussion with him. So I should come. So I went. That was an honoring of what the AG had already sent to me that he was going to arrange. Indeed, he arranged. So I went. So it's not anything, it has nothing to do just clearly arranging for it. Mm -hmm. He only made himself available, his place available because... For you to meet in his... Thank you, because the AG was comfortable there. So I went there and I explained my side of the story to him. 
I had the opportunity to explain to you. The reason why you should not be pursued. Thank you. So, uh, from that, the agent realized that any time he wanted me, he could pass through Justice Kulendi to get me in for a discussion. Mm -hmm. So from there, he now started arranging for the meeting. Justice Kulendi will call me, and I'll go. Not that I requested for the meeting. And then My it, first request, mm -hmm. that, that ended it. From there, all other meetings, is the Attorney General who requests, and I'll go for the and meeting. meeting. And, then, Good. and then you abuse this courtesy by recording the AG. No, not at all. Not at all. That's where you get it wrong. You see, I'm a private... But there's a recording. Yes, I'm a private investigator. I've been an intelligence per person for years. I operated covert operation underworld for so many years. There's a code of conduct, especially when it comes to family. I cannot go and conduct any espionage activities or covert operations in my cousin's house. That is my blood. And that his house is sacrosanct for us. We meet there, we discuss things, and it stays there. You go to your grave with it. So, so long as Attorney General kept meeting me in George's clean this house, he was safe. Nothing could ever come out. No recording, nothing. I ask because the, I'll, attorney I'll, general, the Attorney General made himself available, perhaps because of the respect uh, he had for Justice Colende. And again, back I doubt to my that. that. I doubt that because... Uh, and then back to my question that you, you obviously abused this platform created by the Attorney General out of respect for the learning uh, justice of the Supreme Court. It and can now only you, you, you have subjected him to public ridicule and condemnation. No, if I may explain, you see, it is not out of courtesy for Justice Kulendi that Attorney General was meeting in his house. Attorney General was rather taking advantage of Justice Kulendi's blood relation with me mm -hmm. to pursue their political agenda in jailing Atu Fossen. And he knew that Justice Kulendi is my blood relation, and Justice Kulendi who always call me and I can't refuse to report to his house each time he called me. And at that place there, he could pursue his agenda. So he was taking advantage of Justice Kulindi's uh, friendship with him and friendship from the, the, the law, uh, from the chambers that they all came from. He was taking advantage to get me there. So don't flip it. Okay. It is the other way around. Because all the discussion that he was having with me there was to anew to their political agenda which he had been taxed by the president and Ken Oforata, as he told me, that's going this house, to pursue. Your word against his? Well, you can claim your word because he hasn't denied it in court. He hasn't got into the dock to deny it personally. And all the denial that he got his deputy attorney general and Jim Bibi to write couldn't stand. You see, they were all contradicted when the real audio came. Now, when he realized that he couldn't get what he wanted in Justice Kulendi's house, in using, me, using Justice Kulendi to impress so that could, he could get me to do, to do their bidding. He now decided to contact me directly outside the protective confine of Justice Kulendi. So now he was calling me direct on my phone. Are you supposed to record? Hold on. He called me, the first call that came, he gave me assignment to spy on A2, which is Dr. Sosa Minimana, who claimed to be sick and admitted at the hospital. And I did that assignment for him. And I reported back to him on WhatsApp. He acknowledged and thanked me. All they are recorded and they are in court and he never denied it. So it's nothing that can be denied about that. That is the first time he started using me outside the confines of Justice Kulendi. Then on the 9th of April, 2024, early in the morning when I was on my way to see my lawyer, he called out of the blue again. Because earlier on, we had met in Jasikulin this house on 25th March night. Mm -hmm. Spoken into 26th, around 12 to 1 a.m. Mm -hmm. Trying to get me to do the Apolska bidding in order to jail Atto Forsen so that I can walk free. Because he had assured him that everything had been arranged for me to be acquitted. So I shouldn't worry. But you know, knowing how this uh, MPP politicians, they, they are modus operandi. You can never trust them when you are negotiating with them. Don't trust them.
at all. So and that's never, the reason why you 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 recorded him. No, the reason Abusing I recorded the trust. No, 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 no. The reason why I recorded him was this and violating the, 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 the privacy of. Uh, I will explain to that. Now the reason why I recorded him was this. When he called me that morning, if you realize, the evidence as much as submitted to court is 26 minutes uh, uh, conversation. Mm -hmm. But the recording is short of about 9, 10 minutes. Now you may want to find out why. It's because when he called me, the first time he called me to do the bidding for Animana, I've not provided any recordings to the court. Mm. Do you understand? That will tell you that that wasn't my intention. I did it for him and he thanked me and that ended it. Right? Now the second time he called me, for about 9, 10 minutes that we were talking, I realized that he wanted me to commit crimes. He was taking me for a fool, trying to use me, abuse the brotherly relations that are developed between us as a result of our engagement in Jessica Lindy's house. Now he was trying to abuse it and knowing very well that I am uh, the one being accused and I want my liberty. So he was taking advantage over me. The reason why you recorded? Hold on. So when we were conversing on the phone and I realized that he was trying to push me to do things criminally against Atu Forsen. And he had already done that in Justice Kulendi's house. And I didn't record because that place, for me, is a safe place. But, 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 but Mr. So Jeff, the I'm recording, coming. that is him. That, that, that everybody is aware of. Yeah. All of us are privy to it. Mm. Nowhere do you hear the name of Atu Forsen mentioned in that conversation. It's because, you see, the conversation has got a premise coming from Justice Kulendi's house on 25th March to 26th March. The, that heated discussion we had. In fact, we had already spoken on phone on that 25th night around 10 to 11. And then I was asked to come home and I went and met him there when he was supposed not to be there. And he confronted me physically and we had quarrel. So I knew where, what he wanted and I refused. So when he called and he was trying to impress her for me to answer questions and interpret Elsie's and things in the way he thinks it should be, mm -hmm. contrary to what is supposed to be the truth. It's all leading to, at because we're the only two people in court that he's, he has charged. Right. So telling me that it, it, is, it bore no risk to me and all those things. Why no risk to me? So who does it bear risk to? Your, it's Atu Fonsi. Your interpretation of what- no, I'm coming. General because of saying. what we had already discussed in my cousin's house. And again, house. in terms of evidence sake mm -hmm. and what you have put before court, you, the name doesn't show up anywhere. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, see, it's in several parts of the conversation. So, he's pushing me to interpret it in a skewed my interpretation of the LC in a particular angle that will fit into his theory, mm -hmm. right? And you realize that a two person is being charged on an LC. Get that? So, put it in a contest. A two person is charged on an LC. An LC means letters of credit. Thank you. So, for him to be impressed upon me, to skew my interpretation of the LC, to be in tandem with his theory, mm -hmm. who is he getting at? Is it me? No, I didn't establish LC. I didn't write for LC to be established. It's Atu Forsen. So this one, you don't need any rocket science to understand that. And it will bear no risk to me. Okay. And we are the only two. So if it's not me, it will be the other person. And already, I knew what had been discussed in my cousin's house. All right. So I decided that, look, mm -hmm. where the condition is heading towards, it's criminally pregnant. You needed an insurance. So I needed to quickly immediately record it. And I started recording. And lo and behold, now he moved from Atu Forsen, now I'm trying to get me to commit crimes and mislead the court and deceive the judge. Now I should go and procure excuse duty, lie to the court that I am sick and incapable of coming to court so that he could travel. Why will you ask that for me? It's because you and I have a certain brotherly friendship for you to feel that I can do that kind of criminal favor for you. Mm. And you feel that I'm so vulnerable, you can abuse me, and then because I want to be freed, I'll be doing those kind of things for you. I'll be taking a short break. But I hope you understand it now. Yes, I'm following. I'll Good. be taking a short break. So do you have more recordings? Well, I, I, I have something, but... What I've given to court is what I've given to court. Because we've been told by the NDC communications officer that you have more recordings you intend to 
present to the court. That's why I'm asking. No, I'm that. done. I'm done being cross-examined. I'm done with everything. So you are not presenting any more recording. You see, there is one thing you must understand. You are running a country, and from my security training over the years, everything that you do that borders on national security and stability of the country, you must be very careful. Right. Democracy borders on rule of law. So if you are going to do anything that will bring serious mistrust in our judicial system, you must be very careful what you divulge and what you don't divulge. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, you must be a responsible citizen. You must do everything possible to protect the democracy that we are in, not only for your interest. And there's a reason why you're you so, not releasing more. So if there are evidence that, in my estimation, in my assessment... So borders on national security. Borders on national security, borders on instability of the country, will scandalize the judiciary and other things. And I decide that I will not divulge them. It's my, it's my decision. All right. No one can force me to do that. Let's hold on. When I come back from this short break, I'll ask you whether this has affected your relationship with uh, the, His Lordship Justice Colonde and why you've chosen to describe the former finance minister, Secretary Pei, and of course the late Shoyu Aite as evil, and of course why you've taken a swipe at the presiding judge. These are the questions I will seek answers from as we wrap up the conversation. So, which one do you want to tackle first? We'll, we'll take a short break when we return, we'll deal with that. <laughs> <laughs>